All right, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at logging out users. So in the previous video, we used the Gorilla Sessions package to maintain a state between the client and the server. So anytime a user would log in, we would go ahead and create a session cookie, and we would save that cookie on the user's browser, as you can see here. So anytime the user would make a request after that, say to go to a different page, that request would send this cookie along with it, and the server could use that cookie to authenticate that we are who we say we are. So that way, it could send us to the page we're asking for and not have to redirect us back in the login page because it already knows we're logged in. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and clear this out. So we no longer have a cookie. So if I was to go to the slash about page, it's going to redirect me to the login page. So let's go ahead and log in. There we go. So now we have a cookie. We logged in, it created a cookie on the server, and we saved it on uh, our browser here. So if I was to go back to the About page, if I wasn't logged in, this would redirect me to the login page. As you can see, it takes me right to the About page. So when I sent that request uh, at slash About, it sends that cookie with it. The server authenticated who I was. It said, oh, you are who you say you are and I can go ahead and send you to the about page. I already know you are logged in. So let's go ahead and go back to our code. Okay, so to log out a user, we're gonna use the slash logout path and that's gonna be handled by the logout handler. So let's go ahead and take a look at that in action. And I wanna go ahead and copy this for reference. All right, let's go ahead and log the user out. So we go to slash log out, log out handler handles it. And now we are back to the login page. So if I was to go to the about page, I'm logged out. It should redirect me back to the login page. And it does. And let's go ahead and take a look at those two values. As you can see, we logged out we changed the value in there for session. So just so you could see that, sometimes it's a little hard because you only see the first part of it and it looks like it's the same thing. So let's go back to our code and look, out, look at how this works. So like we said, it's registering the slash logout path to the logout handler. Um, just in review, uh, we use the sessions package. We use the new cookie store function in there with our secret key and it's gonna return our store where we're gonna store our cookies. Let's go ahead and go down to the logout handler. There we go. So when the logout handler runs, we're gonna use our store where we save our cookies and we're gonna run the get function and this is going to look for a cookie named session. Now, it's going to create one if it doesn't already have one have one but anyway so we're going to create our session and we're going to run the built-in function delete and we're going to go ahead and delete you know out of our map the uh the value with the key user id so I'm gonna, let's go ahead and take a look at that built-in function so golang.org package slash built-in you can look at all these different functions we have delete and the delete uh, the built the delete built-in function deletes the element with specified key from the map so we take our key and it's going to delete that out of the map provided so going back to our code session dot values is a map and we want to delete user ID from from that one so actually let's go back one more Ah, there we go. So remember, type session is a struct and session.values, well, that is our map. And that was the map we were providing to the built-in function delete. So we could delete the value that course, 
you know, the, the value of the key value pair that corresponds with user ID. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. And then we're going to use session.save. We're going to save these changes that we've made. And we got to make sure that this runs before we execute our template. Now, all we're doing here is just deleting that value in that map. Uh, in that map. So if we look at uh, some of our authentication here, you know, it's looking to pull that value from that map. And if it doesn't exist, like we when we logged out, we just deleted it. This is going to be false, and then it's going to go ahead and redirect us back to the login page. So. So again, if we go to log out, it's, it's going to run the logout handler and it's going to go ahead and delete that value. So as you can see here, I don't know if it's long enough so you can see WX something. Let's see if it, but anyway, that value is going to change. Yes, yes it did. So if you were to say, go to the index page as we were showing, it's going to look for that user ID value in that session cookie. And being that we deleted that value, it's not going to find it, um, and it's going to be false in a code, and so it's base, it's going to redirect us to the login page. So uh, anyway, I uh, hope you like the content. Um, please like and subscribe. It really does help me out. Um, every little bit of help is appreciated. So I'll see you in the next one.